It's just a reading here. Today is August 26, 2023. The time for me is 12.42 a.m. This is a brand new Pisces reading. No projecting, a clear understanding, a truthful understanding. Now, this reading may resonate with you and it may not. So, take what it is and leave the rest. Only my angels and ancestors are allowed to this reading I'm about to do for y'all. I'll be coming back. Hey, if you're new, welcome. I am taking personals, so if you are interested, my email is going to be at the bottom of this description video. See the devil right here in reverse. And y'all may be breaking uh, some temptations and some bad habits. All right, first card for Pisces. You got the four of pentacles here holding on. Right here with justice. got the knight of swords in reverse you got the world here you got the five of pentacles follow behind the ten of pentacles in reverse a lot of money here the full card and at the bottom we got the um nine of pentacles right look like maybe you may be holding on to your finances right here holding on to you know what you have right now which is good justice is here to balance that out libra energy and the knight of swords is in reverse so there's not a swords somebody could be a little bit impulsive kind of you know fast with it um not really really seeing where they're going just kind of like just going off of impulse the world is here with this cycle mm. maybe somebody at a distance right here maybe figuring out what they need to do i don't know if this is you or another energy but somebody could be um traveling whoever traveling don't need to fucking travel because they look like their money is off right here five of pentacles hardship loss of job Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I don't know if this is your energy or somebody else's. The fool is here. Taking risks, new beginnings, new starts. And then Nine of Pentacles. Um, financial stability. Good on your own. Tell me more about um, this holding on to the money situation. All right, so holding on to your money is not going to be like this for a long time. Might be cut short right here with this Eight of Pentacles. Because something's going to get ruled out with the law. I don't know, maybe somebody got lawyer fees or got in trouble or something right here and they got to pay. But don't really got no money right now. Ace of Pentacles, a gift is coming in. Somebody may be offering you some money. Some of y'all may have gotten in trouble with the law. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So I don't know who this is. Um, this could be you, Pisces, or this could be somebody else. Somebody is up and down with money. They get money, they give money, but then they lose money just as fast as they get it. Knight of Pentacles here, not very tentative with their money. A little immature with their money, not very responsible with it. Okay, let me see something here. Tell me more about justice. You got the King of Wands, Fast Energy, uh, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, Leo. 
somebody independent here or wants dependence. To a cuss is somebody you may be sharing a relationship with. Could be another fire sign. Um, or could, no, could be a, another water sign, my bad. Could be a water sign, fire sign right here with the three of wands. You got the king of wands, two of cups, and the, and the three of wands. You may need to be independent for a while dealing with this other person here. Three of wands energy. Maybe need to first uh, progression stage. So it's back to like... Um, it's back to the drawing board type of situation right here. Maybe something is setting you back here. Justice is kind of is gonna intervene with that though and balance some scales. Libra energy. So who is this not a sorts? This not a source is a sneaky energy. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh five of swords. Very um hidden, not being fair here. Tell me why this person is being um, unfair. The hangman, you self-sacrificing or self-sacrificed. Conflict, five of wands, okay. Self-sacrificing for this um, impulsiveness. Going back and forth, being catty, arguing with whoever you was arguing with. Um, Self-sacrificing yourself is not good at all when it comes down to toxicity. You got to learn when to stop. Hangman right here, self-sacrificing upside down. Also, when I look at the hangman, I also feel like this is a person that's not ready to um, make a, a move. That's why they upside down. They don't even know where they don't know if they're going to either go up. And flip themselves or they just going to fall right on their fucking head. Because they upside down. Whoever this person is in this, uh, they just, I don't know why I feel like this is who, this is somebody that um, is used to being um, like this. Taking from you and um, keeping everything for themselves. And this man right here got three fucking swords when he don't even need them. This person is selfish as hell. Okay, greedy. I'm hearing greedy too. Tell me more. Somebody in hermit. Virgo energy. This could be this person or this could be you or both of y'all. What's up with the world card being here? King of Swords. If somebody's selfish, cold, stubborn, ignorant as fuck with their words. They could be very cold and ignorant with their words. Say just out of pocket shit. King of Swords is kind of like a. Every time I see the King or the Queen of Swords that in reverse, they're assholes or bitches. Look, Queen of Swords. You got that Queen up, King up, upside down. Queen up, Queen up, King upside down. Okay, so why they being cold and keeping up shit and don't want to talk and being very mean and vicious with their words and being an asshole or a bitch, you're cutting this person off. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Since they want to play that game, you're going to play it too. They ass can't rest for nothing. Four of Swords. So not only is they talking shit and mad, and mean with their, you know, words and stuff like that. They can't sleep neither. I'm hearing that maybe some of y'all not sleeping in the same bed neither. If you guys do live with each other. Man, yeah, why well, I feel like this person just nasty? Tell me more about this five. Um, somebody from y'all past devil energy. Y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn. This person's a little nasty, a little hasty. Got you kind of defensive here. Seven of Wands. 
May need to leave this shit to the... May need to leave this shit to rest. Tell me more about this uh, Five of Pentacles or the Hermit. Somebody got left out. Door closed, shut on their ass. Maybe you're done. You got closed your door on somebody right here. The Hermit. You're not letting somebody in. I'm hearing... I'm finna change the locks. Somebody about to get kicked the fuck out. I'm hearing that too. Because I don't feel like you and this person getting along. Y'all not seeing eye to eye. Y'all bumping heads. Like petty shit. The star right here. Hope and healing energy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you want to be left the fuck alone. Two of uh, pinnacles trying to juggle this. You maybe want to let be left alone, Pisces. You don't want to keep on dealing. You leaving this motherfucker out. Girl, boo. And then you got you got the star here. You need you need a lot of uh, healing energy around you, a lot of uplifting energy because being in that hermit by yourself could cause depression. But I don't think you're about to be depressed though. Tell me more, okay? Tell me more about this star. Yeah, the Empress. Male or female Emperor, Empress. This is you, High Priestess, right here at the bottom, Pisces. You got to follow your intuition. This is, this is nothing but illusions. Seven of Cups. Okay, so whoever this person is, I'm letting you right know right now, they is just, they're frustrating. They annoying as fuck. The star here. You have so much maturity about yourself, Pisces, Emperor, Empress. I'm speaking to you. You got so much ma mature energy. You're very smart, very, you know, well-spoken, and you take care of business. You take care of your children very well, too. Children dress very well. You look very beautiful, very handsome. So I just honestly don't think you need this extra shit, this type of shit to give somebody a migraine every day, arguing back and forth. And this person is cold. They're cold and they're not really nice. Not a nice person at all. This could very well be somebody new too that y'all just met. I'm getting past energy and new energy about this person. And you need a lot of healing, uplifting energy around you in order to maintain this situation with this person because they seem very mean. And petty. Look, strength is in reverse. So, Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. The Two of Swords in reverse. Somebody is... Somebody can't keep avoiding their own bullshit. They digging a hole. Strength. They have no, um, no courage, no integrity, no... No drive about themselves. They very, like... Ugh. What the fuck is this? Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this person tries to come in between your finances, too. And they always want something. Maybe that's why y'all fight, because they always need some fucking money. Tell me more about the fool here. Uh-huh, took a risk on the devil here. Selling away from the devil, though. This person is toxic. Somebody from your past. Causing heartbreak.
Why did Pisces sell away from the devil? Tell us more. Pisces got a lot of addictions, too. Very mean and hasty. Talk a lot of shit, too. They gossip a lot. This person gossips. The chariot. You got the fuck out of there. The chariot is the fast, a fast card right along with the eight of wands. Those are two fast, quick cards. You got the fuck out of here. And if you haven't, you need to. It's too rocky there. It's too combative. It's too it's it's too toxic. It's too many conflicts. Too much ups and downs. Round and round. It's a lot of bullshit too. It's a lot of uh childish behavior here. Tell me more about this amount of uh pentacles. This person is very childish. I don't know how to talk. Look, you're uninterested here. They want to cause some time. They, I don't know what it is. They don't want you to manifest here. Tell us more why they don't. I feel like if you're not doing for them, they don't want you to get ahead. If they're not getting something out of you, it's like, fuck you. But see, that's the whole thing. They trying to stop something that's not going to happen. Ace of Wands. New shit's going to come your way either way. Things may be at a hold right now because you're not going to be interested in this person. So you may have to start over with this Ace of Wands. Because that's new beginnings here with that Ace of Wands. So tell us more about the new beginnings. Tell us about the chariot. Why somebody can't sleep. All right, let's go. Yeah, this is some cold energy here. I don't like it. This person got interior motives. How about the Four of Swords? Somebody can't see they're thinking about their Ten of Cups, their family, their home. Okay, tell us more. But there's delays here. So while they thinking about this family at home, they not finna reach out and talk about it though. They in they have a lot of delays. This person also just like probably standing around and waiting for something to happen. But it's not gonna happen like that because look, they can't already sleep. And they and they eight of uh wands are in reverse. The eight of wands in reverse is slow um uh, a slow arrival. Things are getting slowed down, they're not moving fast. Remember I told you chariot and eight of wands are the fastest cards. Those are some fast ass cards. So if they're in reverse, that means ain't nothing finna be moving. It's finna be stagnant. Or it might not even move at fucking all. It's either going to come in slow or it's not going to move at all. Then what I'm getting to is this family is slowly deteriorating. Well, tell us about the chariot. Pisces is moving away from what? The non-committal, the bullshit, the fuckery, the person that's not being persistent, not keeping their word, not practicing what they preach. This person is out of whack. Gemini energy with this lover's card. Taurus energy with this Taurus card being in reverse. And then Cancer energy with the chariot. Two major iconas. Only difference is these two motherfuckers is in reverse. This is just not good with this person. I don't feel like this person is stable mentally. It's like, I don't know what they're out there doing. I don't know what what's their problem, but they got everything they need right here. But 
they're causing delays on themselves too. There's nothing good happening on their end either. They can't even keep their damn word. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands, please. This person uh, is giving me non-committal too. Don't want to tell you where they're going, where they at. Very secretive, like I said, with that five of um, with that five of swords being like hit, having a hidden agenda, being unfair here. Maybe not replying back to you. Not texting or calling right here with this eight of wands. This person could could be also have you blocked, not texting or calling you back. This person may be lagging in text messages and calls. Because you got that eight of wands in reverse. The eight of wands is uh, messages, communication. So this person is probably not even communicating how they should. I'm feeling like this person is distant and they don't want to be around you. Here go judgment right here. You need to walk away. It's time to get up on your high horse and get the fuck on. The eight of cups is right here. Leave those cups behind. There's nothing even in those cups. There's no water. There ain't no liquor, honey. There ain't shit up in there. Ain't no juice. Ain't no soda. Ain't nothing up in them cups. They dry as fuck. Judgment is here. You've been warned about this situation already from the people up above. And um, they're telling you there's something new here. Pisces, Ace of Wands. A new start, a new beginning here. It's too much of this right here. There's too many of the swords being up in your back, being stabbed up, betrayed, lied to, played with like a play toy. Death is here to have a rebirth step in and let you know it's, it's over. It's time for you to look somewhere else. The world is in your hands. Sad though. How you was pushing through, you know, fighting for love. Being this high priest, this high, you know, high priest, trying to balance things out and having your money and your cups. You got money and cups. So you got the motherfucking funds and then some. But look, it came with nothing but illusions. And now it's a karmic cycle because somebody being a fucking thief, stealing from you, could be stealing from pockets and money, taking up your time and money. Somebody from your past. Somebody could, they could be out here drinking too with multiple people, partying, having them a good old time, spending their money up in the clubs and whatever the fuck. But there's a tower. It's here. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. Hold on. Tell me more about this tower. What's finna happen? I got the poker cards out for y'all. All right. So, um, the diamonds is pinnacles. Clubs are wands, spades are swords, hearts is cups, and poker, cards, play cards. Let's see what's going on. I love it because they're so flimsy and you can bend them and they won't like mess up. Tell me more about this tower for Pisces. I'm going to pull three cards from here. Tell me about the tower for Pisces. Yeah, there we go. Three of clubs, which is the three of wands. Something new is coming. You got to make a decision right here. Here go the eight of wands, the eight of clubs. Fast. It's coming in fast. You're going to have to make a decision fast, Pisces. Because if you don't, you're going to regret it. But you're going to continue to keep on dwelling on this situation. You can't keep on balancing this. Two of uh, pinnacles, two of diamonds. Can't keep on balancing something that you're finna drop. Because right here is the eight of swords. This person want to keep you trapped. Eight of spades. You don't need to stay trapped with this person. This person wants to keep you stuck so you don't move. They're very selfish. They're very selfish as manipulative, mean cold energy they want to keep you stuck where they at i feel like this person is so fucked up to the point where they like mm, well i know that i'm not gonna get out of my situation so i'm gonna make sure they don't get out of it with me they want to keep you stuck they like a crab in a fucking barrel they want to bring you down with them this is not healthy and it's not cool it's just selfish and it's coward ass behavior top notch coward a motherfucking coward. Um.
get you a cosmic insight. I see spy right here. This person could be watching you too, seeing like you from a distance, could be watching or feeling energy. You guys could have been twin flames at one point, soul soulmates. Y'all could probably still feel each other's energy. I also feel like this person is going through a depression. They're depressed. Yeah, believe it or not, you could be depressed in the summertime. Pregnancy. Someone's expecting. I don't know. This person, you know what? It's not for everybody, but for who this said, male Pisces, you could have gotten this woman pregnant or this woman could be pregnant with somebody. Maybe that's why they don't want to talk. Be expecting some type of news involving a child or the children that you already have right now. Something got something to do with kids. Because, you know, the lovers in reverse is infidelity. This person could have had cheated on you and got pregnant with somebody. Or, you know, um, female Pisces. This man could have got somebody pregnant that you was dealing with. You will be having these one night stands um, during the summertime. You know, just nasty, dirty ass shit. You need to let go, though. Make room for the new beginnings on the way. What I told you, I said, you got the three of wands here, you know, with the eight of wands. You got three and eight. Very significant numbers in this reading. You had, you know, um, I think you had the three of wands in the regular tarot deck, and you have the eight here. Even though it's in reverse, um, that wasn't pertaining to you. This is pertaining to you. You got a lot of things moving your way. If you keep on dealing with this person to keep on um, dwelling and feeling sorry for your ass, you're going to have some health issues come. So do not let this person fuck up your health because they health is fucked up. I feel like this person may come back, but they're going to come back wanting some money. Or they gonna want some help? Something, something got something to do with help. Needing some type of help or something. I don't know. They gonna probably be back though. By the time they come back, you may be gone by then, most likely. There's one thing about a Pisces; they don't wait. Leo, release the power of your heart. Yes, release this power that you got in your heart. All this loving energy for this person. Release that. Give it five weeks, five months. It's not 100% accurate. It could be fucking five years from now. <laughs> Hopefully it's not for some of y'all, but some of y'all take it a lot harder than others. But five weeks, five months, give it that. Tops. Let me see some here. Let's get in the island time wellness. I'm going to pull two from here. Tell me something, angels and ancestors, too, from the uh, island time wellness. Thank you. Twin flame, yin, yang, zen, balance, unity, duality, coupling, complement each other. This could have been your twin flame. Like I had said, and I say soulmate, this could have been your soulmate twin flame. Heart with the key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. So you guys may be meeting somebody else. Then again, this person could very well be the one, but they just need time alone. You know, um, maybe you need to go ahead and lock up your heart for a while. Get your key and lock your heart up. Because this person just seemed very cold and um, not on the same level as you right now. All right, so from there, we're going to go to I do want to get a kipper. Y'all hear the TV going, y'all? I'm sorry to in there watching TV. Let me see. What is this? Okay, kipper. So let's see what's going to happen with the kippers here. Let's get a little bit more insight about the kipper. Okay, I see false person when I split the deck. And I said this person could very well be a false person. You know, they put on this mask like 
they're this, but then they're a whole nother motherfucker when we take the mask off. They look beautiful with the mask on, so when they take it off, it's some ugly shit underneath, okay? So ugly, you can't even look at it. So ugly, only a mother could love it, all right? Right here with community. You guys could have been very well known in the community, number 39. People probably knew of you and this person, or people just know who you are. You're very known in your community, you, you know? People see you get up every day, probably go to work, or you get back to the community. You guys could go to church and give commission. Okay, yeah, false person, man. Well, look, I just said that. I saw a false person when I split that deck and it flew right out. What I said, this person puts on a mask. You know, one minute they good, they cool, uh, whatever, yeah, I'm fine. As soon as they take the mask off, it's World War Three, World War Two in this world. We ain't had World War Three yet, but I think we did. Girl, I don't know. World War One, World War Two, World War Three in this bitch. It's a whole war in this bitch. It's just a whole nother person. When, you, when they take off the mask, it's not the same person. It's, it's a whole nother person. So it's just be careful what you get out of this person. You don't know what you may get. They seem very two-faced. So I don't know. Just be careful. Um, I'm so sorry, y'all. I've been so busy today. A little tired, but I'm getting through. But yeah, this person, I don't know. Just They seem very iffy to me. They just seem like they're not, they not who they say they are. Maybe that's why they be so unfair and they just they don't give you... Um, they don't give you no feedback. They're not talking to you right now. They're not having a conversation with you. They just seem like, you know, like they're just, child, I don't know what. Seem like they just don't care. They show you them when they feel like showing you them. They pop out when they feel like popping out. It don't work like that. You know, she's supposed to pop out all the time. Saturn in return, age number 50. So something's about to return. I don't know if this person is about to get ready to return with this falsify ass mask they got on. But as soon as they come back in, you need to rip that motherfucker off, okay? Because no, you either going to show me who you are or you're not going to be around me. And I feel like this person, they do shit on their own time, too. They come around when they feel like it. They do things when they feel like it. And no, you cannot do that. You can't do things when you feel like it. You got to do things together. Balance things out together. Right here for your angel card, it says take action. Yes. Pisces, take action on what you need to do for yourself, your family, your health. Take action. If you don't, this person gonna continue to keep on wearing this mask and run off. I feel like this person runs all over you a little bit too. Not for all you're like, girl, boo, ain't nobody run over me. But for some of y'all, this person may run over y'all a little bit. They may, you know, do what they want to do and don't care about what you say. You may take it, you know. Don't be a pushover. Stand up for yourself. And don't let nobody tell you what to do. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get the rest of these cards. They have failed. But don't be a pushover. Don't be naive. And don't let this person tell you what to do. This person could be a little, you know, like kind of a dictator, too. Like I said, we saw the devil like to be controlling, too. So don't let this person control you. Okay, right here. Your angel wants you to listen. All right, it says, quiet your mind, beloved one. Listen to the, our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you. Listen. Listen to yourself. Listen to the angels. They're taking care of the situation even when you think they're not like, damn, when am I going to get a break? Trust and believe me, it's going to come. It's happening as we speak. So... You just got to wait and listen to the signs, look out for the signs, and be prepared for the signs. And you can look and you can, you know, hear, and but you got to be prepared for that. Are you prepared to go through this? And when you go through it, you're not going through it alone. So heartbreak can be a motherfucker, but that's how life works. 
It's always one bad apple in the bunch. And you may be dealing with that bad apple. Give us a um, Bible scripture card, please, Heavenly Father. Here it is right here. Ask and it shall be given to you. Matthew 7, 7. Ask for what you want. You want your happiness. You want your sanity back. You want your mental stability back. You want your money back. You want your home back. You want your health back. You want whatever you want. Ask, ask the man above for it and you receive. If you want this person to come back to talk to you, you want this person to change, ask for it. You're going to receive something. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm not the one that determines that. I am not God. But keep pray, keep yourself prayed up. Stay prayed up. You when you're fed up. Y'all enjoy our weekend, all right? I love y'all. I am taking personal weekends for this whole weekend. Um, like I said, this is, I'm new to doing it on YouTube again. So usually I do it outside of YouTube, but I am happy to share this journey with you guys. I love y'all so much for y'all that are new. Um, I do do personal readings. Just message me on my email will be in description. If you know, y'all begin tired of watching these general readings. I know y'all be wanting to get, you know, personal so I can get deeper into the situation um for some of y'all that's trying to get into tarot um i want to do like a little card lesson on here about tarot um break it down a little bit more on how i see it um i will be getting into that very soon and thank you for the new subscribers i wish y'all family home nothing but the best please be safe out here stay hydrated until next time bye y'all